Mbappe S Masterclass, reigniting the PSG saga with a spectacular victory over Real Sociedad. <music> Kylian Mbappe is leaving Paris Saint-Germain, but he is not going to just let go, there is one last thing to do before he leaves. Two superbly taken goals early in each half, a portrait of a player who stands above, defeated Real Sociedad and carried PSG to the Champions League quarterfinals and one small step closer to the trophy that obsesses them all. If Luis Enrique, the coach charged with changing a culture and preparing a post-Mbappe era, insisted his side had suffered to win the first leg, in the second he said everything had gone swimmingly, any hope of a home comeback extinguished early by an exhibition from the man about to bid farewell. Harry Kane celebrates after his second goal, puts Bayern Munich 3-0 ahead on the night. If they play like this, they are candidates to win the competition, I have no doubt, the real coach, Emmanuel Alguacil, said when it was over. It was not, Alguacil insisted, just about Mbappe, citing the brutal intensity with which PSG, a side much stronger and much faster than us, had played. Ultimately, though, he was the one who decided this, the real captain, Mikel Oyarzabal, calling him unique. Luis Enrique said, when you leave him in the final third, facing the keeper he's lethal. Having opened the scoring in Paris, he added two more here to ease PSG to a 2-1 win, 4-1 on aggregate. And with him, ease really does seem to be the word. The resistance was broken after just 15 minutes, and it was yet another manifestation of the smooth brutality of Mbappe, that unanswerable superiority. Released by Ausmane Dembele, he surged up the left and into the area. Igor Zubeldia faced him with his arms behind his back as this wasn't hard enough anyway. Mbappe tapped on the brake, the accelerator, the brake and the accelerator again, just a little each time, but enough to send his marker out of the way, balance gone. And then, bam, the ball flew past Alex Romero and into the far corner, hard enough to unhook the net. For a moment, in fact, the referee Michael Oliver stopped and the real arena wondered if they were somehow going to get let off, maybe it could be ruled out. But on what grounds? Being too good perhaps, released by Luis Enrique's decision to bring Dembele inside, leaving him the left wing, there was certainly no obvious way of stopping him. Three men in bibs came to fix the damage done and Mbappe carried on regardless. Even before the goal he had glided past everyone and all the way to the byline where he pulled back for Bradley Barcola, who should have scored from a couple of yards but was denied by Romero. After it, he dashed all the way towards the other post to strike a first-time shot that Romero somehow kept out with his boot. PSG were in control and if Real Sociedad knew they had to step forward, they were all too aware of the risk that ran while Mbappe was loitering with intent on the left. The home side were unable to release a shot of any real threat until Take Kubo's effort flew wide right on halftime. PSG had six shots by then. Mbappe had taken three of them. The fourth was set up by him and a fifth sort of was, indirectly at least, La Real backed off Warren Zaire Emery, correctly judging that preferable to allowing him to play the ball to Mbappe who soon added to those figures and effectively ended the tie, if he had not already, with a goal that was about as Mbappe as it gets. <laughs>